We have a certain number of guys who write in with the problem of the alpha pheromones making them anxious, nervous, uh, some, some actually become aggressive. We actually, I had a guy write to me from under his bed with his laptop. He had purchased actually, it wasn't even a, a, a particularly super alpha product, mm -hmm. it was uh, just straight possessed. Uh, but he had purchased it in hopes of attracting his wife and when he applied it, she ended up becoming very aggressive and ranting and raving and driving through the house. He'd gotten in the shower and washed himself multiple times. It, his email was something like, I've washed myself six times already with scrub brushes and pumice stones and I can't get it off. And he was actually writing from under the bed and he was saying, you should have warning labels. <laughs> this stuff should be banned. I want my money back. Oh uh, you know, he was, he was intensely panicking. And, and this is a true story. I know it sounds far-fetched, but it's a true story. And I, and I did feel bad because I was trying to get him in bed with a woman, not hiding under a bed from a woman. But, but uh, we keep having this. About one out of a thousand mm -hmm. guys have this. And it, it goes from that where you have this, in, this actually extreme anxiety. Mm -hmm. He's extremely anxious to nausea in the stomach, to guys becoming aggressive. I think is what's happening is the fight or flight response is being engaged from the alpha pheromones. And I, I know that, that uh, Asians in particular have a high chance of this happening because they don't produce alpha pheromones to the level that um, uh, other races do. Well, that's, that, that does not mean Asian defective, okay? <laughs> Just don't get it right. Just get it yeah, right. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying anything, you know? Japanese can be sexy. Okay, let's go. Let's, <laughs> keep, let's get going, okay. Japanese women can be sexy. <laughs> you know? But, uh, where was that, man? You fucked me up. Um, oh, what I think is happening. What I think is happening is because of, of the low production of uh, alpha pheromones. Mm -hmm. Now, this doesn't matter what race you are. Because your alpha pheromone production is directly related to your testosterone levels. So what I think is happening is... Guys are applying these alpha pheromones and they're identifying them as an outside source. Now normally if you're around big, scary, athletic, aggressive, alpha brutes, you go and you slip away. Mm -hmm. And you get away from it. You never have to be exposed to it, be thrown right in the middle of it. In this case, it's actually on you. Mm -hmm. And so you're, if you're already a high testosterone producer and you already are producing uh, alpha pheromones and you apply it, you identify it as you. This is just me. Ooh, it smells like an enhanced version of me. This is excellent. You may even find it attractive. Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm, you know? But if you're not, you get this anxiousness. And I, I remember I had had actually several, several grams of pure alpha pheromones rupture in a box once. And I had, had Godet smell it. I'm like, hey dude, check this out. What's this smell like to you? And Godet takes a sniff of it and whoops his head around it. I mean, he's like flailing. I thought, oh shit, I killed him, you know? And he's literally, I mean, he used to, at the time I said, what'd you smell? And he said, I didn't smell anything. I just, he just had a reaction. He couldn't control it. I just felt like somebody punched my face. I mean, it was, I couldn't see anything, but I really got the feeling that I need to get away from right away. And I do actually have some times that if I wear alpha pheromone, I have a little bit of a the heart propagation. Oh, you do? I do. I didn't know that. I do. Sometimes I do. Oh. Again. I actually thought you were fine with it. I thought you had no problems. Well, I have sometimes problems. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you that. <laughs> no idea. Per perfect for the subject. You so you feel, you feel like the, the, the accelerated heart rate. I do. I, I, you know, sometimes, okay? Not every time? Sometimes. <laughs> I feel a little bit of a heart propagation, and it will go away. It, it does go away, um, but I sometimes I haven't wear it for a long time. I wear it, and I feel that a little bit. If you wear it every day, does it go away? Uh, it does. It does, actually. Does it go away in the course of the day as you wear it? Like, uh, can you apply it, get the, get the excited nervous it will. feeling that it will go away? It will, definitely. I, usually for me, about 10 to 15 minutes, it will go away. Okay, no, that's not bad. Yeah, that's pretty yeah, good. Exactly. Okay, so this, this since this happens to guys, what what I normally recommend for guys that have any of these traits, you get the, the you get you get really super anxious. Mm -hmm. You get nausea. You get the, the the little bit of a rapid or a fluttery heartbeat, or you get aggressive. Mm -hmm. What I recommend you do is start applying the pheromones low. Mm -hmm. Put it below the knees. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can start you can start clear down to your shins, and apply a small amount. 
see how that day goes. Mm -hmm. See how you feel. And over time, you can increase your dose and work your way up. In your final applications, you're going to want to your fair. I apply it to my fair mm -hmm. forearms. I rub my forearms together. I go across my chest both ways and I put a little on each side of my neck. Mm -hmm. The reason I do that is I talk with my hands and I'm waving at people's face. And, and so it's constantly fanning it around. When a girl comes to hug me, if she's short, her face goes right into my chest. Mm -hmm. If she's tall, her face goes right into my neck. So I'm giving her a nice big dose. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to start low if you're having these problems and work your way up. Now this might take weeks. It might take, I think we had one guy take almost three months mm. before he reached the point that he could wear it like a normal guy would do it. And I, and I have to actually applaud him for his persistence because many, many guys just give up. They just say, that I can't use this shit. It's just going to hell at me. Um, what else do I need to say? You just have to be very patient with the pheromone. Um, your body would adapt to it. Exactly. Thank it you. Definitely does. Um, what, what you're doing, I believe, this is what I believe is happening. I do not know for a fact this is what's happening. But I believe is what's happening is your body is interpreting that you're around very aggressive males mm -hmm. because of the scent that's in the air. This is, this is nature trying to help you survive. It's saying you're in danger. Mm -hmm. You can't escape the danger. So it starts ramping up your own testosterone levels until it's equal to or greater than the perceived danger. Mm -hmm. That's what I think is happening. And it may be a little bit of a stressful process, but I think in the end you're literally going to be more manly and, and more capable. Yeah. So I think it's worth the... the um, the perseverance worth the, the trouble to, to try to get to it. Of course, if you can't and you, and you just simply can't work it out, you, it's too much for you to bear, you are entitled to a refund. Check out the other video on mm -hmm. refunds and we'll get you taken care of. Well, some guy gets too aggressive, you have to control yourself. Be responsible. That's, that's true. For the guys so for the guys who are having this um, this this uh, fight, or fl fight or flight, they're mm -hmm. going to the fight side of things instead of the flight side of things. Uh, we had one guy that wrote, uh, I think I read you his email just the other day. Yep. He, what, he got a speeding ticket. Fighting. Got in a fight with his best friend. Got mm -hmm. a fight at the gym. Got a speeding ticket. Got a fight with the police officer. Mm -hmm. Then got in a fight at court and got a big fine because he was fighting with the judge. Mm -hmm. uh, and he was wearing Wolf, which is an alpha leader, not an alpha aggressive product. Mm -hmm. But it set him off. Mm -hmm. He could not wear it. And I did I did have to refund his money. And I don't know if he switched to another product or what happened. Mm -hmm. But but that, that shows where you have. So what you've got to do. If you're having these feelings, it's almost like when you're a teenager and you're getting testosterone for the mm -hmm. first time. You're kind of crazy. One minute you're screaming, yelling, and you're crying. And you're, it's kind of like that for some of these guys. Now remember, there's only one guy out of a thousand, so don't diagnose mm -hmm. yourself into a yep. situation that you're not having. You know, I don't want to plant an idea in your head that you're going to go, oh my God, that's what's happening to me, when it probably isn't. Mm -hmm. Be responsible. Pay attention to your feelings. Learn from it. Grow from it. Become a more competent yep. male. And move on. And hopefully you learn enough skill to, if you have any problem arise, you can just walk away or control it. Yeah, this is actually going to help you mm -hmm. in real life when you are around truly, truly aggressive males who do, do have high uh, testosterone levels, high yep. thermal levels. You will be more capable of coping with them. In fact, it won't even shake you up. Uh, I never had a reaction to thermals, but I'm from a high, high, high alpha family. Um, I hang out with high alpha guys, and it just doesn't. Uh, I identified as me. I'm like, oh yeah, you know, that's me. Uh, so I react to it and I'm okay with it. That's fine. This guy doesn't. That's fine. Yeah, so he deals with it. He goes with it. He's improved. How, yeah, you, I mean, you don't have a problem. You use it. I mean, I do. I do. I do. So there you go. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Hope it helped.